in the post game now after York defeats Bates uh, 19-8, the final. Peter Lasagna, the head coach of Bates, with us now. And Peter, we just had a chance to talk a moment ago. I know the result for either of the games this weekend was not what you hoped, but there is something that can be taken out of this weekend. I think you guys really held better today. Yeah, no, thank you. I appreciate that, and I felt the exact same way. Um, I don't want to ever get to a point in my life where I'm cheering uh, a 19-8 to loss. But I will cheer the fight. Uh, I thought we fought defensively. I thought we actually played really, really well six on six against a team that is considered one of the best defensive teams in the country. I thought we really had their head spinning when we had it. We might have gone the entire third quarter without having the ball. I can't swear to that. But it <laughs> felt like one of those quarters we didn't have it very much. But no, I'm very proud of how we fought. Um, and that's a lot of, like we talked about yesterday, it's a lot of why I wanted to come down and do this. We. It forces you to grow up. So they, you were you were trailing five nothing at the end of the first quarter, and then the second and third quarter you went toe to toe. It was eleven seven after three. What was the difference in the second and third quarter? How you played better? Yeah, I think we really spent a lot of time uh, mentally, at least, even though we couldn't do it on a field, preparing for their ride. Their ride is, is sort of a nine and a half, ten man. They sometimes bring the goalie all the way out, sometimes part of the way out, and they have all those really athletic poles in the middle of the field. 12 and 35 and 43 and those guys. So we adjusted our clear a little bit. That'll be our little secret. Uh, but we adjusted our clear a little bit, and I thought we cleared the ball great. And we were, our, I think our goalie played a lot better today. Um, so we were getting some saves. We cleared the ball. That gives us a chance to play offense. And uh, even when you're not winning faceoffs, if you do those things well, you can actually make it a really competitive game against a really good team. So one area that I'm sure you'd want to look at more in film, the extra man opportunities for York, six out of seven. What were they seeing that you weren't doing on time? Yeah, I, like I said, I just think we were, uh, most of the time we were in a four-man rotation, and I think we were just a hair to five or seven uh, late every time. And I, from where I was looking on the field, as I said a few minutes ago, it looked to me like we were giving two guys on the backside too many good options. Um, so I think we need to push out a little bit more if we're gonna play four man or get to the point where we can actually play five man. Um, and we've just gotta understand that the kind of shots we wanna give up, whether we are in four and five man, are outside shots. Uh, and I think we yielded a lot of layups. I, I think most of those man up goals were inside of five yards. So a final question to you. You and I had a chance to speak. I think you were on the bus coming down from the Boston area. You know. Nobody wants to be 0-6. No. You don't want to coach at 0-6. Your players don't want to be 0-6. No. They're not used to being 0-6. No. So what what do you do? How are you guys doing at this point? Yeah, I think we're doing a lot better, um, honestly. And, and to me, it says a lot about our people that they put yesterday behind them fairly quickly and focused on the great opportunity that we had to play a really, really good team today. Uh, and so to then be able to perform the way that we did and be toe to toe, as you said, um, into the fourth with a really, really, really good veteran team. Uh, again, we're not looking to lose, um, but I think we take away a lot from this. We get on a bus tomorrow and take nine hours to get home to Maine. Uh, and then we have a week to get ready for Middlebury. And then it's all league play for the, for the rest of the way. And um, quite honestly, I think we're gonna be a tough out. So, so do I, thank you so much. Thanks, man. Right. Really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. That's Peter Lasagna, the head coach of Bates. Bates falling today to York, 19-8 the final on GoMustangSports.tv.